I'm in Draper today, and I am with two nurses that work and specialize in semaglutide, Megan and Treasure. And we are going to have a discussion to get you to know more about semaglutide. So starting off, the biggest question is, does it actually work? Isn't that what we all want to know about weight loss? Does it work? Quick answer, yes. Um, semaglutide is amazing, whether you are just trying to lose a, a little bit of weight or a lot of weight. Um, it works for everyone. Um, and one of my favorite things about working with some of the patients is just the success and hearing their successes and, and how much weight they're losing each month and, uh, how happy they are on the medication. So it's been amazing. I feel like it's rare to have a patient that goes away from having the semaglutide and it not working. It really is working for everyone, which is awesome. So to that point, it's hard to believe in weight loss drugs, right? Because there's so many gimmicks out there. We've spent so much money, all of us, on things that may or may not work. But we're seeing success. So in speaking about the fact that it works, I think it'd be good to educate everyone on why it works and how it's working. I think that would be helpful. So basically how semaglutide works is it's suppressing appetite. So people aren't going to be as hungry when they're on it. And then it also reduces cravings of sugar and carbs. Um, it also uses or activates the GLP-1 hormone in the brain that helps you to feel full, fuller longer. And so our brains naturally release this hormone. But as we get older and as we kind of start ignoring those um those hormones telling us we're full, the semaglutide mimics that. And so um, it's essentially giving you more of that hormone so that you are listening to your body and not eating as much. Okay. So then it really makes the body become more efficient with insulin. Is that right? So then the body is able to take that stored fat, the fat that won't hasn't been able to go away and use it for energy. So it then utilizes it and is able to get it to go away finally, right? And it's crazy to see I mean, I have been able to firsthand see people that are on it come to us and it's like, wow, something's actually working. Um, one question that we get asked is, do I have to weigh a certain amount before I can start or, or how that works exactly? So you don't have to weigh a certain amount or be a certain BMI to start on the medication. Really, we just do uh, go over your health history, make sure that you're a good candidate um, as far as um, no contraindications or anything that would keep you from being on the medication unsafely. Um, if you qualify that way and, and our doctor providers approve you to be on the medication, then, then anyone can essentially be on it. Okay. I would say with patients who weigh more, they might need to be on the medication longer. Um, but yeah, I mean, anyone can be on it like Treasure just said. Okay. So it works. Um, what are side effects? Because, because we're, as we talk about, okay, it works, the body becomes more efficient. It's working with suppressing appetite. It's also doing things that the body hasn't been able to do on its own. So in that way, might people might say, well, is it too good to be true? Then what are my long-term side effects? What are my short-term side effects? Can we talk about that for a second? So the main side effect that people see is nausea. Um, but we do have a few things that we do to hopefully help prevent that. Um, we have it compounded with B12, um, and then we do start our patients off on a lower dosage. Um, both these things hopefully help reduce that risk of nausea. And that B12 is different, right? That is different yeah. than our, what we yeah. do, which helps a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so um, we work at a high-quality compounding pharmacy that compounds the semaglutide medication with a B12, um, and because of that, some of our patients don't feel nauseous at all or have any side effects. Um, like Megan said, the biggest one is the nausea, um, potential upset stomach, um, constipation, things of that nature can potentially occur, but I would say it's not very common for, for many of our patients that we're seeing. And, and worth it, right? We're, I think what I'm hearing is patients are saying it's worth it. I may have a day that I don't feel great, but don't we often have days we just don't feel great? So that said, they're starting to see change and that overcompensates for maybe the day that's not amazing. Um, okay, so let's talk about the shot. So that's kind of scary for some people when you hear shot. Um, why don't you walk us through that, that process? So the size of the needle is like less than an inch. It's so, so little. It's actually tiny. so tiny, like 
so so little okay. um we use insulin needles or syringes so they're really really small um often i have patients that come in for their first injection and they're like oh i'm just so scared of needles like i don't want to i don't want to do the injection myself and then they actually look at the needle and they're like oh <laughs> like that's so little or they don't even feel the poke so really really small um like I said, they generally don't feel at all. It just goes into the subcutaneous layer, so the fat layer of the skin. And so it can go in the stomach, the back of the arm. Um, we often tell patients either call us, do a FaceTime, or come into the office so we can help you with your first injection just to make sure that you are doing the correct correct dose so that you don't get sick for your first one. And then so we can show you how, how to do it safely. So. Yeah, I would say the like Treasure said that first injection once they once that's done, it's easy for them to just do on their own and and most patients are doing that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, once once they've done it once, then they can do it on their own. All right, so pricing. I think there's a lot of competition out there. Talk to us about pricing. So we start with um, a 12 week vial for most patients. Um, and we have a few different options on that. So you can either pay for that vial all up front, which is $1,000, or we can um, have that patient pay for that vial monthly, which is three seventy five. dollars um, after that three-month period, um, patients can kind of, again, decide where they need to be on um, dosage-wise. So if they're at what we call a half dosage, um, they can continue at 375 monthly. Or if they are wanting to uh, go up to the full dosage, um, then it would be 475 monthly. And just to add to that, if patients are um, hesitant about wanting to sort of commit to three months, they can do month to month in the first couple months. Uh, we do recommend, there's not necessarily a commitment. Uh, patients can start and cancel at any time. Um, but I do often tell patients, because we're starting at such a low dose and it increases every couple weeks, um, really we're trying to find what dose works best for them. And so within those first three months of increasing slowly so that they don't get sick and don't have side effects, um, they can potentially not see much of a change until they find that dose that works for them. And so even if a patient wants to do just one month, we recommend try to commit to the three months so that you have the best success in seeing, seeing good weight loss. So, so from what I can tell, there's a sweet spot for each person. And that sweet spot will just determine really what they pay um, moving forward. But it is just kind of practicing, finding that out, and having a support system to do that. I think that's what Bell Medical offers. One other thing that we do offer, we talk a lot about, we do offer three months semaglutide with the procedure. And obviously together, that's just a powerful thing in so many ways. We, we remove stubborn fat, and then we're also able to add the semaglutide, which helps weight loss. Um, so it's pretty awesome. I think, you know, it's a good opportunity to try it for free. We get asked the question if we take insurance, and we don't. That's the, that's the answer. But we have priced it so it's affordable, and we've also given options to make it easy and affordable. So let's talk about that. So we also accept um, care credit um, and HSA cards, which is really awesome for patients who want like a financing option. Um, but we do price our semaglutide um, pretty low compared to other options that you can look at. Um, and yeah, that 375 um, maintenance dosage is generally where people are at. Yeah, like she said, I would say about 75% about of our patients stay at that maintenance dosage at the 375 a month. Obviously, um, some of our our larger or male patients require a, a higher dose. Um, everyone's just so different, but I would say um, overall, most of our patients are, are staying at that 375 a month, and it's just really affordable is all we hear from, from our patients is that compared to other options, whether it's other places offering semaglutide or even trying to go through insurance and um, not being accepted, that 375 is still a really affordable option for them. All right. So one question we had is about type 1 diabetes. Will you answer that question for me? Yeah, so we always recommend with any form of past medical history is uh, consulting first with their primary care physician, um, but also still have a, a phone consultation and do the medical assessment form so that our physician can also um, review that and figure out a plan, whether that's 
uh, with your primary care physician as well and um, just making sure that this is a safe medication for you to be on. We do have type 1 diabetics that are on this medication and having success. And so um, it's definitely possible. Our main concern is just making sure that patients are safe and um, that they can have effective treatment by being some of the, being on some of the time. So. Um, not speaking to uh, patients with diabetes, but we have several patients who have insulin resistance um, or PCOS um, who also find that this medication is really beneficial for them. Um, these patients usually struggle a lot with losing weight. Um, and this is a medication, again, working with their primary care provider and our providers that it's a very good option for them. I think what I love most is hearing that there's other health benefits to it. You know, sometimes we attach ourselves to, you know, a weight loss drug that just, just get the weight gone. It does that, but it also improves health. And I love that about the semaglutide. We get the question often, how long do I have to be on this drug? So that's a really good question. Um, I'd say it really depends on the person and their weight loss goals um, specifically. Um, and that's honestly what me and Treasure are here for is um, getting you on that starting dose that, again, I think Treasure mentioned earlier that it's really good to be on for at least the 12 weeks just to see um, how you do on it. Um, and um, after that 12 week period, if you need to continue um, with that dosage, um, I'd say the majority of people um, are on it between the three to six months. Yeah, like Megan said, we're here to just figure out what works best for you. Um, every patient is different. Every dose may be different per patient. Um, and so we have a lot of patients who they're on it for the three months, they lose 15 pounds, and that's all they wanted to lose. Um, other patients that are wanting to lose much more than that, they can be on it for, for six to nine months. But the nice thing about this medication is you could potentially be on it long term. It's not one that you... Um, that you need to start and stop and go off for a while, like a lot of other weight loss medications are, um, you could potentially be on it long term and continue seeing results for um, for weight loss. So according to studies, a lot of patients were on it for even 12 to 18 months and continuing to see, to see weight loss. So far, we haven't seen that. Um, we haven't needed patients to be on it for that long. Um, but depending on what their goals are, like Megan said, we can we can kind of work around that. Whatever whatever they're looking for, we help them. Well, what I know about these nurses and Bell Medical is they'll specialize and make it one-on-one -on -one and, and make sure that every person who decides to partner with us on this will have the experience that they need for their body. And so that we can ensure them of, right? Absolutely. Okay. All right. So a big question is, will I gain the weight back? Short answer, no. Um, really, if you are making healthy changes in your, your daily habits, whether that's just paying attention to what you're eating, making um, exercise goals, being healthy, after you go off that medication, it's not going to just come right back on if you're continuing to, to do those healthy habits. If you were to, to go wild and just start eating unhealthy again, then obviously, yes, you can, you can gain weight back. Um, but we do have a lot of patients who they'll get to their goal weight on that maintenance dose and then they will um, pretty much cut that dose in half and stay on much lower dose um, just to help with their appetite. If they find that when they go off the medication, they all of a sudden want to start eating a lot again, then staying on even just a smaller dose helps with that so that they're controlling their appetite still and they're not um, potentially gaining that weight back. Yeah, I think at Bell, our whole goal is just to hopefully get everyone in that healthier mindset and um, the semaglutide can really be a, like a head start for most people. Well, we really are about long-term change, permanent change. In procedure, we permanently remove fat cells. In this, we permanently change habits and bodies and and that's what we're all about, right? Is is offering a solution that makes sense for people to spend money on because it will finally work. In studies, and we're seeing this come true in front of our eyes, patients are losing anywhere from 24 to 36 pounds, 15% of their body weight. I think the cool thing is you can read studies, you can hear about it, but we're seeing it. And I mean, you two being nurses, running the program, being specialized and on the ground with this, you get to see it better than anybody. So what do you love most about that? What do, what do you love most about hearing from patients on that? Like you said, I think it's just life-changing for patients. Um, I think so many of our patients are coming back and just 
um, who have tried every option possible and like have not been able to lose the weight or just lose the weight for a short amount of time, um, they're finally able to see big changes in their life um, and they want to continue with those good habits. Um, and it's just really cool to hear comments and, and see feedback from people that just have struggled a lot with weight loss. Yeah, I would agree just with what Megan says. A lot of our job is following up with patients and seeing how they're doing. And when we get comments of, and I do get comments often of, this has changed my life. And that is amazing to hear as a nurse. I mean, we came into the field of nursing wanting to help people, wanting to make a difference in people's lives. And so to get to see that and hear that feedback is why we keep doing what we, what we're doing. We just we just love it. So well, thanks you guys. I think what we can all say confidently is Bell Medical is in the business of changing lives, making a difference, improving how people feel in their skin. And it's so fun to have these tools to offer them to do that in addition to a great experience. 